The billionaire who wasn't. The billionaire who actually isn't a billionaire. Uh, if this title intrigued you, the billionaire who wasn't, then Chuck Feeney is the man behind the mystery. You see, Chuck Feeney was in the Forbes billionaire list for years and years and years without anyone actually knowing. He didn't lose his money. He actually gave it all away. He gave away $7.5. That was 99% of his net wealth. Uh, he gave it away and that was an unprecedented amount. No billionaire, no person practically, had ever given, amount, uh, given away such a large amount of their wealth, not because they were obliged to, but honestly, Chuck Feeney felt it was morally wrong for him to have that much money. And all he needed was about a little over $50,000 a year to live. Even though at one time a multi-billionaire Chuck Feeney, he rode on, he could be found riding the economy class. He never, he didn't, you know, drive, he didn't fly on a private jet. He sat with everybody else. And most people, after talking to him at an airport, would have no idea that who they were speaking to was a billionaire. Chuck Feeney was a pretty average kid. He wasn't notable in every way, any way. He didn't make, he didn't stand out in school. He was from New Jersey and his parents didn't want him to go to an Ivy League school because they Chuck. thought, we don't want you to aim too high. We don't want you to shoot for the stars and get so close and then come crushing down. So just live your life, be a good kid. Don't, don't aim too high. But Chuck decided he was going to aim high. He decided that he was going to start a business of duty-free goods. You may have seen them in the airports, duty-free goods, of selling to international buyers and, and being able to, he was able to mask a small fortune uh, doing this. And you know what? He loved the challenge of working. He worked with a passion. He was a workaholic, you can say, but he didn't work for the money. Clearly, he didn't even use the money. Uh, he worked because he loved the challenge of it. He loved the challenge of every day trying to figure out a better way of doing things. So that's my challenge to you. Do you love the challenge of your work? Do you love trying to figure out the different aspects of your work? Do you wake up with that passion? If honestly you don't have that passion for what you do, you might find it challenging to become wealthy, to become a billionaire. Most billionaires, I'm gonna go almost say all billion self-made billionaires have that passion. And it's not that Chuck Feeney had a passion for duty-free goods, it's he had a passion for challenges in general. So what's your passion? What are you passionate about? You know, I want to take this lesson from Chuck Feeney, a man who abhorred the press. He abhorred getting a lot of attention and has only had one book written about him. But I'm going to use his challenge for you. After I've studied him for hours and hours and weeks and weeks, what are you willing to be passionate about? How could you be more passionate about your work? I want you to really think about this. How could it be more fun? There's your challenge. Now get out there, start exceeding your Everest, and I want to hear about your success. I want you to start taking your success seriously, because honestly, you deserve it.